So here we have the footballer Gary Neville, the former footballer, and he's he's making big noises, um, which may indicate he has got political ambition. But basically he's saying the tax cuts that um, the Conservatives have put in place are for the rich and they are immoral, he will say. And he's backing Keir Starmer for PM. Well, I think? think that's his opinion, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and good on him if that's what he wants to say. I mean, um, celebrity is a very difficult one. Uh, you know, you're, we, we all have opinions, uh, and yet we're, I some, sometimes one's frightened of actually saying what you want to say. I mean, I remember, for instance, uh, a personal thing was being gay. Uh, when I was doing children's television, and uh, in the 80s, mm. you had to be very, very mm. careful, mm. you know, and I was always open. I mean, no one, I was never hiding it. But you couldn't say everything that you wanted to say. Yes. So it was, it's, it's very tricky. And I think it's certainly tricky politically mm. nowadays to yeah. be a celebrity and say what you think. I, I remember in the, the 80s, people like Bob Monkhouse coming out and being very pro-conservative. Jim Davidson, I don't think it's done Jim any harm, really, as well. Jim's a regular contributor. Uh, to GB News. What do you think, Don? I, I think, I think the, the, the whole Gary Neville, look, as Biggins has just said, it's, it's his opinion, it's perfectly right to express it. But, I mean, it's, you know, he's, he said, I don't know anyone on more than 150,000 who think it's the right thing to do. Well, I don't think he knows that many footballers. <laughs> I know quite a few footballers are actually quite keen on getting their next flash sports car, Absolutely. Their, next match, their next holiday, etc., etc. So, and, and also, he, he says, uh, what does he say here? Um, uh, yeah, I can speak directly when I'm not involved in politics. He says taking a front seat at the party conference. I mean, I think he does have... He's saying, no, I, I'm not interested in becoming a politician. Um, I, I don't have political ambition. I want to speak for the people. Well, how in touch is he with the people, really? Because he is in that top bracket, and he's very clearly got political ambition. But I think the, the problem with celebrities coming out with opinions is the fact that it's OK if they stick by it, but it's the hypocrisy I think a lot of people have. Yeah. It's like people like Emma Thompson and Prince Harry lecturing us on the green economy and what we should do and shouldn't do and feel, feel guilty about taking your one-week holiday in Benidorm while they fly around the world on the private jets. Mm -hmm. It's the hypocrisy involved. So I think celebrities, big as you probably know more than me, obviously I'm not one, but you have to be very careful to not be hypocritical in when you're expressing an opinion because ordinary people go, right, OK, you can't tell us to do something while you don't do it. I it's agree, totally. It's easy to say, mm. you know, that's, I suppose well, that's, that's the yeah, yeah. But it's the danger.